UNDERWAY TONIGHT IN CALIFORNIA IS AN EFFORT TO QUALIFY A BALLOT INITIATIVE TO REGULATE INSURANCE RATES. Yeah, THIS IS SHAPING UP yeah. TO BE A HUGE BATTLE. SEVEN ON YOUR SIDE'S MICHAEL FINNEY IS HERE NOW WITH THE STORY. IF THIS BECOMES LAW, CALIFORNIA WOULD JOIN WITH 35 OTHER STATES BY REGULATING THE PREMIUMS CHARGED FOR HEALTH INSURANCE. NOW, THIS WOULD ONLY REGULATE INDIVIDUAL AND SMALL GROUP POLICIES. STILL, AN ESTIMATED 4 MILLION CALIFORNIANS WOULD BE COVERED AND EMOTIONS TONIGHT ARE RUNNING HIGH. Marty Conger has a $5,000 deductible, and her health insurance costs still sting. At that year, in 2005, I was paying $191 per month. The new rate increase this year in March, $661. That's a 36% increase in my rates since 2005. That's why she's signing this petition that would regulate the cost of individual and small group health care policies in California. Marty says it isn't just about the money, it is also about family. My husband is 78 years old. He's been working since he was nine. And the reason he's still working full time now is to help me pay for my health insurance and my health care and to keep us afloat. Your eyes are tearing up. Yes. It's not fair. The petition to put the initiative on the ballot is being shepherded by Consumer Watchdog, the group that passed Prop 103, the initiative regulating car insurance rates in California. We have four insurance companies that control 71% of the health insurance market. There is no competition. Consumers need new powers. And what the ballot initiative does is give uh, the insurance commissioner the power to say no to unnecessary rate hikes. I'm a doctor. I'm not an interest group. I think this is going to harm my patients. President-elect of the California Medical Association, Dr. Paul Finney, no relation, is concerned that his patients could end up with less care if this initiative gets on the ballot and passes. What I see happening is the creation of a huge bureaucracy in which case uh, rate increases would generate uh, uh, public hearings and tremendous amount of red tape, all of which would be paid for by the health uh, industry, pulling money out of health care and again into the hand, hands of the consumer attorneys who would be managing all this work. Nonsense. Baloney. Senator Dianne Feinstein was the very first person to sign the petition. She says the problem is not with consumer attorneys, but with escalating rate increases for individuals and small groups. I am very passionate about it. This is not a new thing with me. And seeing these big companies raise premium rates maybe twice a year, even some occasions more than that, and there's no transparency and there's nothing that can presently be done about it, and they make record profits. An interesting aside to this, Consumer Watchdog is attempting to get the 505,000 signatures needed to get the initiative on the ballot without street corner signature gathers. Instead, they're sending out letters and asking consumers to go online, print a petition, sign it, and send it in. Now, I've posted links on abc7news.com to the California Medical Association, Consumer Watchdog, and the Insurance Commissioner. What about the insurance industry? What are they saying about this? You know, it's odd. I asked them uh, for a response, yeah. and they referred me to the doctors. So at this point, mm -hmm. uh, we haven't heard from them. Interesting. Maybe right. we will. <laughs> Thanks, Michael.